Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to our next lesson for prep. Tonight, we're going to do something really different. If you notice, the background of me is the crucifix. I am here in the church, and I'm here because what we're going to talk about this week and all of our levels are going to be talking about is prayer. It came across to me a couple times through some of your emails and things that some of you still are a little rocky on how we should pray and why we should pray and why prayer is so important. So tonight we're going to focus on prayer. All of us from levels one through seven, we're going to focus on prayer. Okay, so what we're going to talk about tonight are different ways of praying, the different prayers that we use, but also a way of praying without using words. It's important for us to understand that there are many, many ways of praying. Okay, and of course, why not teach this lesson in the place where it's most important to pray? The greatest prayer that we have in the church is the Mass. So why not have this lesson celebrated right here in our wonderful church here at Holy Guardian Angels? Okay, so let's begin with prayer, like we begin always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's call upon our Heavenly Mother to be our intercessor. Remember, we were talking about intercessors. Okay, and we will also talk about different saints. Mary is one of the top saints that we can pray to. She will guide our prayers closer to God. So let's pray to her and ask her to be with us tonight, to guide us, to care for us as we dive into the importance of praying. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, before I begin the lesson, boys and girls, just want to explain why I'm dressed like this. I'm actually filming this lesson on Election Day. So today is actually Tuesday. November 3rd. So I just came from voting. So that's why I'm dressed with an American flag tie and I got my voter sticker on. So don't be confused on why I'm dressed like this. That's why I'm wearing this. Okay, boys and girls. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about ways of praying. Okay. Now, when you look at the website that you're currently on, on your page, whatever level you're on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the top of your page, there's a little icon there of either children praying or family praying. When you click on that, you'll be able to see all the different prayers that you should be learning during this school year. Okay? So I encourage you, boys and girls, to go to that. Or... You can go into your folder in your bags and you have a copy of those prayers that you need to learn. Now, when we look at those prayers, those are the prayers that we recite, we say out loud, or we can say to ourselves. It's important to have basic prayers. Prayers help us understand how to talk to God, what to say to God. It organizes those words for us. Like when we say the Hail Mary, it's a prayer to Mary. When we say the Our Father, that's the prayer that Jesus taught us. And in that prayer, it helps us to talk to God and ask God for all the things that we need. Okay, so prayers like that are very important. Boys and girls, those of you that are in level two, you're going to be learning this year the prayer called the Act of Contrition. That prayer is a prayer of forgiveness. You're asking God to forgive you. Okay, so every prayer has a meaning to it. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to look outside of those prayers and we're going to look at other ways of praying. 
When you come to church here for Mass, or if you watch it virtually, that is the most important way to pray in the Catholic faith. Receiving the Eucharist, honoring our Lord, loving our Lord, showing our respect. When we sing at church, those hymns that we sing, they're also prayers. So if you would take a book, right now there's no books in the church because of COVID, but when the hymnals are in the pews, you could open up that book and read the words that go to the different hymns. It's a form of prayer. Everything that we do in the Mass is a prayer. So if you think about the Mass, we start with the sign of the cross. Well, don't we start our prayers with the sign of the cross? No. At the end of Mass, what do we do? The sign of the cross. We end our prayers with the sign of the cross. So when you come to Mass, because I said it's the most important form of prayer, it's because it is, you're here for an hour. It's an hour-long prayer. So everything that happens during the Mass is part of one very, very special, important prayer. Okay? So that is why we're going to do this lesson right here in church. But tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm talking to all different ages of children right now. So all of you are going to have the same video. Okay? So it's very important for us to understand that no matter how old we are, if we're in first grade or if we're in seventh grade, some of the things that we learn in our faith are what we call basic information. It's different things that everyone needs to learn. And it's always important for us to always refresh our minds with some of the things that we learn. It's like where we work with math problems. Okay, If you have a word problem in math, most of the time you need to understand the basics of math to answer that word problem. You might need to know how to add or subtract or divide or multiply. If you just learn how to do those things but not keep them refreshing in your mind, you lose them. So our faith works the same way. We have to keep learning about our faith and keep refreshing ourselves on all the different topics. So, what I'm going to focus on tonight is five forms of prayer, or five ways of praying. Okay? First, adoration and worship. Okay? Now, remember, boys and girls, we all had a lesson on adoration and what adoration really means. And we were talking about benediction in that lesson as well. You could always go back to that lesson and re-watch the video to remind yourself of what that lesson was about. But in this form of prayer, okay, what we do is we look at the greatness of God, how great he is, because we know that God is great. But we look at that a little bit more. And we acknowledge that we need God. In everything that we do, we need him. Okay? The Mass and the other liturgies of the church are full of prayers that go towards adoration and worship. For example, when we come to Mass, there is a prayer that sometimes we might recite or we might sing. It's called the Gloria. And some of you might remember this. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. This prayer is so important. It's showing our adoration, our worship to God. Okay? It's very, very important for us to understand. So again, in this first form of prayer, we look at how we need God in our lives, but we recognize how good he is, how great he is. And we show that respect by adoring him and worshiping him. All right, form number two, petition. Say that word with me, petition. 
Okay. Now, this, outside of the Mass, okay, the prayer of petition are the types of prayers that we are most familiar with. This is the type of prayer where we ask God for something that we need. Okay? So this is about us. All right? So, for example, maybe there's something sad happening in your family. And you might want to ask God to help you with that. Or maybe you want a really good grade on a test. And you studied really hard. So now you're praying to God. God, help me get a really good grade on this test. Okay? It's things that we need. Okay? And a lot of times, boys and girls, when we pray, that's the number one form of prayer that we use. We pray to God asking him for something. Okay? So now you know that when you ask God for something, that is petitions. Okay? So we had number one, adoration and worship, where we recognize the greatness of God and that we need God in everything that we do. And now we recognize number two, petition where we ask God for what we need. Okay, form number three, intercession. Say that with me, intercession. Okay, these prayers we hear a lot at Mass. Every Mass we go to, there are lists of intercessions. These are the prayers that we pray for others. Okay, as a family of God, we come together, and we use intercessions where we pray for the poor, the sick, the needy. We pray for our country, the countries around us. We pray for our leaders, those who are guiding us. We pray for the church itself. These are different ways of praying as a family where we pray for others. So intercession is where we pray for others. Okay? So, number one, adoration and worship, where we recognize how good God is and that we need him in our lives at all times, and we adore him for that. Number two, petition, where we ask God for what we need. Okay? Number three, intercession, where we pray to God for what others need and for things around us. Number four, this one is very important, okay? This is one that I a lot of us forget about. And I, I will admit sometimes I forget about this one. And it's, the form is called thanksgiving. A prayer of thanksgiving. Sometimes when a lot of good things happen in our lives, we forget to stop and simply thank God for those things. So in this form of prayer, we're thanking God. Okay, remember, praying doesn't have to be things that need to be prayed for. It could also be a form of thanking God. Because don't forget, God answers our prayers. He might answer them through each other. We should take that time to thank God for that. So this form is very, very important. And it's something that I really want you to think about because levels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, this is your assignment for this week. You will see next to this video, there's another video to watch about prayers, but next to that, there is a little picture of two children praying. You're going to click on that picture and you're going to see a worksheet that I would like you to do. Every level is doing the same worksheet. And what I want you to do is, because it's the month of, of November, during this month, we think about being thankful, because soon it's going to be Thanksgiving. So what I want you to do is, I want you to think about what you want to thank God for. And you'll see on that paper how to do that. You can either write it, you can draw pictures, there's all different ways of doing it, okay? Okay. And each level has the same exact assignment. I'm having you focus on this form of prayer because, like I said before, it's the form that we forget about, but it's so important. Okay, so let's backtrack. First one, we had adoration and worship. 
where we recognize the goodness, the greatness in God, and that we need him. We're dependent on him. We need him in our lives at all times. And because of that, we adore him by saying prayers like the Gloria at Mass. Number two, petition, where we ask God for what we need in our lives. Number three, intercession, where we pray for those around us, for all the different needs of the world. And number four, thanksgiving, where we thank God for the things that he has done for us. Now, the final form of prayer is called praise. Prayers of praise acknowledge God for what he is. As Catholics, okay, we praise God in everything that we do. Okay, we need to acknowledge that in our lives. Okay, because of who he is, he deserves prayers of praise. Okay, sometimes we get confused with the worship and adoration and praise. Okay, worship and adoration. Okay? We recognize that we need him in our lives. The praise is, okay, this man is so important. We should drop to our knees and praise him. Shout out loud how wonderful he is. So again, we do this one a lot. Okay? When we sing, a lot of our hymns that we sing are songs of praise. So we do use this form a lot, okay? But what I want you to look at is when you look at these five forms of prayer, okay? It's important for us when we take time to pray. Think about these different forms of prayer, okay? There's going to be another attachment that you'll see that has these forms of prayers on it. Okay, I want you, to, you can either print it out or you can just leave it on the website and go back and read it. But it's very important, boys and girls, for us to understand the forms of prayer and why they are so important. Okay, another thing, boys and girls, and some of you might have already have heard me say this, but sometimes prayer doesn't need words or music or noise at all. Silence is a very important way of praying. When we are quiet, that's when we hear God. Whenever you come to church and either the Blessed Sacrament is out during adoration or we're ready to start Mass, it's quiet. Because when you are in silence and you clear your mind of everything that's going on around you and you focus strictly on Jesus, that's when you hear him. That's when he speaks to you. He comes into our hearts and speaks to us. So I encourage you of that, boys and girls, silence. Silence is very, very important. Okay, so boys and girls, what I want you to do is there's another video that I want you to watch, okay? Now that video is different for all the different levels, okay? There's some different videos that I have there, okay? So each of you have another one, and this video focuses on a way of praying, okay? And then next to that, you have another assignment, okay? And that assignment is there. Remember, you're going to look at form number four, Thanksgiving. And what are you thankful for? Okay? So again, boys and girls, it is awesome to pray. Okay? Think of the word awesome. And I'm using that because right now, boys and girls, right now, what I need you to do in your life is to put prayer first. 
We need to pray for so many things. We need to pray for healing, for peace. We need to pray for our country and the countries around us. We need to pray for people who are experiencing all these horrible natural disasters, the hurricanes and the tornadoes and the earthquakes and the wildfires. There's so many things. People who are sick and hungry in our world. People who are unemployed, who don't have jobs. There's so many things I could go on and on and on. But boys and girls, what's important for you to understand is that you should rely or need prayer at all times. Don't push prayer away and use it whenever you feel you need to. Prayer should be an everyday experience. Not just when you come to church, but by yourself or even with your family. Maybe take a time during the week. Maybe not every day, because I know schedules can be really hectic. But take a time and dedicate it to family prayer. Talk to your parents. Say, let's do on a Wednesday night at 6.30, let's sit down and just say a Hail Mary or an Our Father. Or just talk about your faith. Talk about the good things that happened that day. Thank God in prayer for that. There's a lot of different things you can do, boys and girls. But praying is very important. And this wasn't the lesson that I wanted to do this week. This week I wanted to do all of our separate lessons like we've been normally doing. But it came across in a lot of your emails and some of your assignments. I don't think a lot of you understand the importance of prayer, why we do it. Those five forms of prayer, again, they're right there for you. You can read them again and understand what they are. But those forms of prayer help us understand how we pray, what we are doing with prayer. But the most important thing that I want you to get out of this lesson is when you pray, you put him first in your life. If you rely on prayer for every single thing you do, he is first in your life. We know, boys and girls, that God is above everything. Nobody else comes before him. When we pray, and we make prayer so important in our lives, he is in our lives 100%. We know if we push prayer away, or we push our faith away, Jesus doesn't go anywhere. He's always with us, calling us back. But wouldn't it be nice if he doesn't have to call us back? We're always there with him, like he's always there with us. So boys and girls, in closing, what I want you to understand is prayer brings you closer to Jesus. And the more you do it, the more your faith will grow and shine and will spread to everyone around you. May God bless all of you, and let's do a closing prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Let's do an Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, how it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless all of you. And don't forget to watch the video next to me and to email me your assignment. Again, God bless all of you. And please put prayer first. See you all next week virtually.